Hi everyone, it's Judy here and you welcome to Smartwatch Series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get ECG and blood pressure on your Galaxy Watch 6 and 6 Classic. This will also apply to the Galaxy Watch 4 and 5 Series. ECG and blood pressure are two features that have been available on Galaxy Watches as far back as Galaxy Watch Active 2. However, these two features are not available in every country of the world. Fortunately, a user that goes by the name Dante63 at SDA developer have been able to modify the Samsung Health Monitor app which will allow you to get ECG and blood pressure on your Galaxy Watch 6. Now I have got the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic here and if you go through the apps that I have here you will not find Samsung Health Monitor okay so there's no ECG and blood pressure on the watch. So to get these two features what you need to do is to check the link in the description you'll find the first app which you should install on your phone. You have two apps for phone, but you're gonna choose one. If your phone is on Android 7 and above, go ahead and choose the first one. If your phone is running on Android 9.0 and above, go ahead and choose the second one, all right? I'll tap on install, Samsung Health will be installed to my phone. All right guys, I have successfully installed Samsung Health Monitor to my phone. The next thing we're gonna do right now is to install Samsung Health to the watch. And to do this, we're gonna use an app called Ball Jogger. So go ahead and check the link in the description, which will allow you to install Ball Jogger or simply go to Play Store and search for Bug Jogger. Now this is the Bug Jogger app. Once you open this app, this is the interface you're going to see. So I'll simply go ahead and tap on the middle icon. Okay. Now once you have done that, the next thing you want to do is to connect the watch to a Wi-Fi network. You can connect to your home Wi-Fi network, but it is recommended that you connect to the hotspot of your phone. This will assure stable connection. Okay, I'll simply go ahead and turn on hotspot on my phone. And once that is turned on, go to the watch. I'll go to the settings app on the watch. I'll go to connection, turn off Bluetooth, turn on Wi-Fi and connect to the hotspot of your phone. All right, guys, I have successfully connected to the hotspot of my phone. I'll simply go back to the main menu of the settings app. Now scroll to the bottom to where it says about watch. Now go to software information, tap repeatedly on this to turn on developer mode. Okay, developer mode is turned on. Now when you go back to the settings uh, menu here, you should see that we now have developer option. This was not here initially. So go ahead and tap on this. Scroll to ADB debugging, turn this on, tap on this. Now scroll further down to wireless debugging, tap on this turn this on okay now go ahead and allow this network go down to where it says pair new device tap on pair new device okay now you need to enter your ip address and the port you can see the port at the back here and the spelling code on the Borjaga app i'll simply go back to the Borjaga app and i'll tap on the plug icon at the top here okay tap on that and tap on pair Enter your IP address, enter the port. Now enter the code that appears on the screen here. Remember the port is the last number after the double column, as you can see. Okay, so go ahead and enter that. Once you have entered that, tap on pair, and you should see that this is successfully connected. And once that is done, this will exit the pairing mode. Okay, and if you go to pair devices, we now have this. Okay. The next thing we need to do right now is to connect to this network. So go ahead and enter your IP address again and enter the port. The port that shows on the screen here is 44527. I'll tap on connect. All right. Now, when this is successfully connected, it's going to show all the apps that you have on the watch. All right. If this is not successful, you're not going to see the apps that you have on the watch. And once successful, you should see that we have this. Before it says no connected device, now we have this. It says wise, whatever. Okay. So this is now fully connected to the Galaxy Watch 6. And now we can go ahead to download the Samsung Health Monitor app for the watch. Okay. So check the link in the description again to download the Watch SHM app. Once you have downloaded that, tap on the plus icon at the top of the screen. See where it says select APK, tap on OK. Now locate the SHM app for Watch that you just downloaded. 
and this will be remotely installed on the wall. All right, the package is successfully installed and now we have Samsung Health Monitor app directly on the watch. So guys, that is how you can install the Samsung Health app on the watch. And now you can go ahead and tap on this to continue setting up ECG and blood pressure for your watch. So that is how you can get ECG and blood pressure on your Galaxy Watch 6 or 6 Classic. This also applies to the Galaxy Watch 4 and 5 series. So guys, now that we have successfully installed Samsung Health Monitor on the watch, we need to turn off ADB debugging. We we'll simply go to the settings app, we need to turn this off, otherwise it's going to impact your battery life. I'll go to developer options, and I'll first of all turn off wireless debugging, then I'll go back, and I'll turn off ADB debugging, then I'll go back, I'll go to about watch, I'll go to software information, Tap on this multiple times to turn off developer mode. And I'll scroll back to connection. I'll turn Bluetooth back on. Okay, this is the primary way the watch connects to your phone. So guys, another way to remotely install Samsung Health Monitor app to the watch is to download the SHM mode companion. This app will do exactly what the Bojaga app did and even more, okay? Um, you can find the link to this particular app in the description and when you open the app, this is what it looks like Okay, now from here you can choose to download SHM mode companion, which is this app You can simply tap on this And from here you can go ahead and download this app to your phone and below that you can also install the Samsung health monitor app on your phone by simply tapping on this Okay, and if you tap on the watch tab here and I tap on OK I tap on OK. You can also install Samsung Health Monitor app to the watch by simply tapping on this. Okay. The mode companion for the watch is recommended that you also install this. This will help you make sure that you have the latest version of the app. And to do this, simply tap on Connect. Okay. And by tap on I understand and agree. From here, you can simply follow the same process we did on Bojaga to, to connect this app to your phone. This will allow you to remotely install Samsung Health on the watch. Okay, I'll simply tap on close. And if you wish to sync blood pressure measurement from the Samsung Health monitor app on your phone to Samsung Health, okay, you need to go to BP Sync, tap on enable set features. What this will do is to create a folder called Samsung Health in your download folder. Okay, I'll simply tap on OK here. Now, once you have enabled this, you simply need to go to the Samsung Health app. I'll go to the Samsung Health app and I'll tap on the three dots at the top here. I'll tap on settings and I'll scroll to the bottom to where it says about Samsung Health. Now you need to tap on this repeatedly. Okay. And this will show you these two features. Tap on set features. Tap on um, health analytics. And toggle on dev okay now scroll further and select data platform scroll and turn on developer mode okay now once you have done this simply go back and tap on ok now tap on first stop tap on ok locate storage and clear the catch Okay, now once you have done this, if I go ahead and open the Samsung Health Monitor app, which is this one, I tap on Accept here, you will now be able to allow or permissions. This will allow the app to read and write to Samsung Health data. Okay, I will simply toggle this on. If you don't do this, you will not be able to sync BP Sync from Samsung Health Monitor to Samsung Health. So guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,